Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. Today I'm going to show you how to make pineapple dark treats. Uh, very easy recipe, will save you a lot of money, but best of all, it is very healthy for your dog. The first thing I started, what I already have in the bowl, is three and a half cups of all-purpose unbleached flour. Next, we're going to add in a cup and a half of rolled oats. You don't have to be overly precise with the measurements. You know, just get it around about. Want to add in about one or two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to start off with a cup of water. Now we may have to add a little bit, depending. We're going to check on this uh, midway through the mix. And then I already made my first batch of uh, cookies. So what I have here is a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. Um, all natural, no sugar added. Okay, that's the one you want. So we're going to use half a can of this. Because like I said, I used the, the other half already. We're now going to start the mixer. I'm going to put it on speed one, and then we'll come back and check on this in a few minutes. So here we are, uh, about two minutes into the process, and I'm looking at it, and it looks like it's a little bit dry. So what we're actually going to do is turn this off, and we're going to add a, just a touch of water. Start this back up and we're going to see what the, where this takes us. Okay, right now the consistency is about what pizza dough would be. Uh, we're here about three minutes later and it is now ready to pull out and cut and shape them. So now we have the, the dough out and you want to get it on the board, on a cutting board, and roll it. And you're going to stretch it out to about the size of what you want your treats to be. This is about the size I like to get the treats. We're now going to put it in a preheated oven at 385 degrees. Leave it on for half an hour. Then turn the oven off after half an hour. And then let the cookie sit in there for another hour after that. Okay everyone, so as you can see our pineapple dog treats are done. They are now cooled off and what I'm actually doing now is uh, portioning them and bagging them. Um, I put them into little baggies like this. Put about five or six of them in a the bag and what I'll actually do is I'll leave one bag out and then what I'll do is bag the rest of these and then put them in the freezer and then when this like let's say when you only get one or two left in here pull another bag out uh, that way you preserve them and out of these two batches I've got about 50 cookies all together uh, give or take maybe 40 to 50 um, you know give your dog one or two a day and it'll last you for a while anyway thanks for watching everyone and have a good one